I just listened to the transformation video that I just made and I picked up some mistakes I made when we were using this slide, this is slide 20, um, as, an, as a model for explaining <coughs> Frederick Griffith's uh, transformation experiment with streptococcus pneumonia. Um, and I apologize, you guys. So I just wanted to go back and make sure I hopefully corrected some of the mistakes, the verbal mistakes I made. So you guys, we're using this slide as a model for the transformation um, performed by Frederick Griffith. Um, remember, the donor bacteria is the um, dead S strain. And folks, um, we're, we were going to pretend that this A allele is the gene that permits the bacterium to make the enzymes to make a capsule, right? So the S strain made a capsule. This was our living R strain, and we were pretending that the gene um, for the enzymes to make capsule in the R strain, there was a mutation. So the R strain couldn't make the enzymes to make the capsule. So the R strain lacked a capsule. The dead S strain had the genes to make, make capsule, right? And then this represents a living R strain um, we, it would have been competent. It would have made those DNA binding proteins that would permit it to bind to the DNA released from the dead S. It would get introduced into the living R, and through that cool process of homologous recombination, the, the donor um, good gene for making capsule from the S strain would have replaced the mutant capsule gene of the R strain, the mutant capsule gene, meaning the R strain couldn't make capsule. We see here that through homologous recombination, the donor good capsule gene replaces the, um, the recipients, the R strains, its mutant capsule gene. So after transformation then, the R strain became a recombinant, right? And very importantly, the R strain was now carrying the donor S strain gene for capsule pr production. So then this transformed um, R strain or transformant now can make capsule. And that was what Frederick Griffith recovered um, in the fourth experiment from the mice that he injected with a mixture of dead S and living R strain. He recovered the transformed R strain that could then make capsule. And again, folks, they just look they look just like S strain, living S strain, and indeed they are now S strain. Okay, folks, I hope that didn't cause too much confusion. Um, we'll do another two videos on conjugation and transduction, and then that will finish our horizontal gene transfer unit.